Hello everyone and welcome to yet another play and chat video. That's right. Two in one week. Who would have thought? Um as I'm recording this video, my other play and chat video, um, which is the Gears of War 3 horde mode play and chat, is still uploading to YouTube. Um we're now coming in at approximately 13 hours it's been to upload a 39 minute video um, and it, the video isn't even in high definition either um, which is slightly more annoying um, and I mean giving it some thought I'm really gonna have to make a trade-off with regards to the quality of the videos that I upload in terms of image quality I've always tried to do as best image quality as I possibly can um, I'm not using the high definition video capture devices and I'm also, you know, they're not the world's best capture devices that I'm using either, it's just what I've been able to afford. And I think consequently I've always tried to increase the image quality post capture, if that makes any kind of sense. Um, so when I'm using compression to, to before I upload the video to YouTube um, I'm tending to overcompensate for it in the sense that um, I'm going a bit crazy and you know what what I mean the, the, the video that I'm uploading currently the quake um, sorry the Gears of War 3 it's four and a half gig and that is ridiculous for a non HD video that is bloody ridiculous and it's just too much I, I can't have you know my computer's been on all night uploading this and I'm I'm just not doing that it's too much it's too much arsing about so I'm still gonna do my videos I still want to do my videos and I still want them to look as good as they possibly can but I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to tone it down a bit. I mean, I know they don't look as, don't look particularly fantastic as it is, but like I say, there's the limitation of the capture devices. I'm gonna to have to, I'm gonna to have to bow down to that. That they are what they are, and trying to make things look better in post post recording is just it's killing me. It's, I mean, the, the fact that my hard drive's getting full up as well. I mean, I'm. I'm backing up my films to. I'm backing them up to um, DVD ROM, and I used to be able to fit quite a substantial amount of stuff on the DVD ROMs. And now, I mean, this this is just getting beyond a joke because now, I, you know, I'm going through DVD ROMs like confetti, and I know why because I changed the setting from good to best in the the compression. What happens is I use iMovie and following YouTube's guidelines um, when I've done a video and I'm ready to upload it to YouTube I have to then process the video um, so YouTube likes it. So essentially what I'm having to do is I then compress the video, well, not, process the video is probably a better word than compress. I have to process the video so it works um, so, so sorry. It's, so it's actually part of um, QuickTime, so you can play it in QuickTime. And then once I've done that, I then upload it onto YouTube. Now, in the past, the file sizes used to be quite reasonable um, because a I wasn't making as longer videos as I am now. They were all sort of coming in at round about ten minutes or less. And secondly, I wasn't using, um, I wasn't compressing them in any, much at all. Um, sorry, compressing. I wasn't processing them as much at all. I was sort of using just the standard uh, setting, which was, I think it was like good or something like that. And what happened was, I thought, I want my videos to look better. So. In addition to getting the new capture card, which was the Roxia one, which I talked about in the video that he's uploading at the moment, 
uh, talk about in some length the trials and tribulations I've had with that card. Um, I upped the video quality to best. Now I did toy with processing the video into HD and that was creating large file sizes but bugger me. I, I ramped that back down to the standard setting which is 960 by something 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 and um, I thought well that, that, that'll reduce the file sizes considerably. Jesus Christ what a mistake I made. The Roxio capture device creates larger file sizes anyway due to how it's recorded. So, yeah, this is this is where like it just becomes a, a massive headache for me. I don't like the Roxio editing software that comes with it. I prefer the iMovie one. I'm more familiar with it. It's easy to use and I can get stuff done quicker. Okay, I mean, I've started to make videos now on a daily basis. Um, so I need to be able to, to get through them faster. I mean, before I was doing like one a month, um, if that. I mean, I had a period where I wasn't particularly feeling well and um, I was sort of in and out of hospital a little bit. And I thought, oh, sod this. You know, the videos are the last thing that was on my mind. But... I came out, got better, and was like, right, okay, I'm going to do a video every day. I'm going to make sure that I can do something productive every day. And I enjoy making them, which is why I do it. You know, if I didn't enjoy it, I wouldn't make them. <laughs> it's that simple. And so I did all of this. And like everything else, you just want to improve things. You want to make things look better. And as I say consequently the whole thing has just grown. My videos have become longer because YouTube have enabled my account to have more than uh, 15 minutes worth of videos so me being me I'm naturally oh therefore every video I have must be greater than 15 minutes and therefore you know from that side of things it's gone a bit crazy but the, the going back to the problem in order to do this, I need to be using software I'm familiar with because I don't, even though I enjoy making it, I actually want to play games and not just be sat recording and making videos about games because otherwise I'm not going to get a chance to play them. And playing video games is my first love, so I'm not going to compromise on that. Um, so I. What I do is I record the footage using the Roxio when I use the Roxio and then I have to convert that to a file that iMovie can read. And the file is I'm trying to remember it, I think it's AVC good quality. And that means that I can get a good quality image and it's not the best quality, it's a good quality image and then I can take that over to iMovie and import it as um, because it saves it as an mp4 and iMovie can read that. I've tried other format types and iMovie just won't recognize it because iMovie can be a pain in the ass for things like that. Um, but then again it come free with the come free with me iMac so I can't complain too much. So it's it's created a bit of a dilemma for me. Um, I've got to try to figure out how to do this without compromising too much on image quality and also at the same time finding the right file type that's not going to take up the entire bandwidth of the internet to upload a video. So on my next few videos there might be some that look good, there might be some that look shit. Um, there's not really a lot I can do. It's going to be trial and error because the other problem I have as well is I look at a video in iMovies and it looks good. And when I upload it to YouTube, it looks like shit. And I'm having to do then go on and do things with the video, like alter the contrast, because you can see all of this like arty facing, facting, whatever you call it, going on. Particularly on black backgrounds, you can see like you know uh, little blocks moving, and that really pisses me off. It's like really bad image quality. So I have to go in then. And then it's just becoming a real project when that's not the intention. The intention was just to put things up there and, you know, just in general. 
enjoy doing it. Um, you know, the other only other option really is to do fewer videos, and that's kind of not what I want to do because I am enjoying the process of it. I'm just having a bit of a trials and tribulations moment, as it were. So yeah, it's all good fun. So I just wanted to put that out there because I've done this video. This is Quake Arena, by the way. Um, it's basically Quake 3 on the Xbox 360. And I love Quake 3. Quake 3 was a game where with death matches I could actually win games. This is to me how online shooters should be. None of this camping or arsing about like you get in the Call of Duty games. You know, where somebody's stood three miles away with a sniper rifle and you spawn and they blow your head off. You actually have to move in this. You know, the weapons and level layouts are really good. This and the Unreal Tournament games were how multiplayer should be. Balls to your rubbish Modern Warfare 3 type games. I'm only joking, they're not completely rubbish, they're only slightly rubbish. Um, I get less frustrated in this because you don't get time to get frustrated because you die, you come back, and now you die, you come back. And you just basically run around. It's like being on a permanent rampage, which is excellent because it becomes, you, you, you don't have time, I say, you just don't have time to get pissed off because you're not sat waiting an hour to spawn either. You know, you, you're straight back in it right away when you get killed. And it's fast and it's frenetic, and you're also not spending an hour looking for people to blow up either, which is also nice. So, yeah, um, I think that's pretty much it for this video. This is a shorter playing ramble, and hopefully when I process this, it won't look completely shit, and um, it also won't take the rest of the week to upload. That would be a very nice thing indeed, because I like to try to do other things as well. So thank you for watching this video. And please stay tuned to my channel for more videos coming up in the future. Um, probably be a couple of retro games next. Anyway, thanks.